as you can see from the map we are the big grey circle at the farm the pumpkin farm and we're heading down to the blue dot there so we're just leaving the pumpkin farm you can see really good time a lot of people went and it's in some lovely lanes so I thought I'd do a video leaving the place it's um, worth a visit there's a lot of people there well a lot of people for Guernsey the location of this place is worth having a look at that's what I decided to do this drive along here it's beautiful it's a Sunday morning we had rain all day yesterday pretty much and it's like a different yes it's like night and day compared to yesterday um, this is the parish of the Cattell. I had to check that because I wasn't sure which parish it was in. And I want to show you that um, the roads are in and the beautiful scenery. And we're going to eventually end up, as you saw on the map, on the west coast. We don't actually drive along any of the coast today because I've done that quite a lot. I want to show you inland and just the views around here. It really is a it's like picture postcard stuff around here. And let me know if you see any Ferraris or Rolls Royces or Bentleys or any stretch limos drive past. <laughs> so um, you see the title of the video. So during this drive along I just want to talk about it a little bit. Um, I get probably at least a few comments a week saying that they're surprised they don't see a lot more expensive cars on the roads during my drive alongs I do and uh, one guy said where's all the Rolls Royces and do people own Ferraris and Porsches in Guernsey because it's a very very wealthy island so um, I just want to show the you the reality of what it's like because as a lot of you know I live here and I do videos all about Guernsey so if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more stuff and uh, sort of an insider's view on what it's like to live here then uh, you can subscribe because I sort of tell it real life how it is and uh, there's a lot of myths out there that we're all millionaires and things um, so I'm just going to talk about it a bit now so if you notice even on this drive along you'll see probably cars you recognize it's we're not all driving around Ferraris in fact that's that is a complete myth you know I know the island is known for being wealthy and I I know that because everyone always tells me and I do understand that however um, you know there you know I'm not gonna say there isn't wealthy people living here because there is and that would be misleading however I don't think there's is maybe is I don't think um, everyone is as wealthy if you know what I mean there there's a lot of people actually struggling along just like anywhere else and um, there is people who have what I would say you know it's normal jobs here plumbers tilers electricians and um, yes the finance industry is a big employer here and of course they're on probably a very good salary however the as far as the, the you know the the cars and Ferraris no I never ever see Ferraris driving around I never see Bentleys um, you do now and again very rarely see I think there is years I think there is maybe a few maybe a Ferrari driving around but not like one you'd think it, you, you wouldn't probably recognize it as a Ferrari um, Rolls Royces well again you'd probably see them in the UK if you kept looking for them but we're, we're not all driving around them. I mean, you won't see any. I mean, if you look back at all my drive alongs, and I've done hundreds of drive alongs, you might not see any. So that'll give you an idea. Um, it's normal cars. I mean, I drive a Ford Fiesta. What's this car coming along here? I don't know. There's. Um, yeah, there's just a variety of stuff. There's Kias driving around, there's a lot of Fords, and uh, there's um, Aldis. So you know I would say normal-ish cars now are you gonna see pieces of junk driving around well you might actually see a car or a van in worse condition than this in our house because we
we haven't really got or we well we haven't got a MOT in Guernsey um, so the MOT if you live in the UK you'll probably be a lot more familiar with that than I am but we don't have to pass any uh, regulations for the condition of your car you can drive around in a complete heap of junk if you want as long as it drives and it's not too dangerous no, no one's going to really say anything it doesn't have to we don't have to we, so we haven't got any MOT at all but um, yeah you do see obviously there's tractors driving around there's old vans and stuff but you know I would just say it's just normal I, I mean what's normal but I just if I go to the UK I don't see any different cars to here to we got the UK I think generally we might have slightly smaller cars because of the lanes yeah I mean just have a look at the cars when past just normal cars um, so you're not going to be if you do come to Guernsey you're not all of a sudden going to be seeing all these big posh expensive cars and Rolls Royces and limos everywhere because it isn't like that so it, that is a little bit of a myth but you know there is nice cars people people on good salaries um, do drive around in I would say more expensive cars than I could afford but that's the same as anywhere I suppose and quite a lot of the cars on the forecourts on garages a lot of that stock is actually not even it's not local cars some of it um, quite a bit of the, the, the you know the cars for sale on the garages and the forecourts they're bought in from Jersey which is the neighboring island about 20 miles away or uh, from the UK if you remember my van I used to drive around in my um, Ford Transit that was from the UK that that van so what they do the dealers like the Ford dealership brings over or they choose cars or they just get them shipped over and they sell them here because obviously the, we haven't got the maybe the big pool of cars to choose from to fill the forecourts up so a lot of the cars are from the UK uh, my the car I'm currently in now is from Jersey as far as I can remember I'm sure they said it's from Jersey uh, there's sometimes ex hire cars or things like that when they're about three years old when the manufacturer's warranty runs out they tend to shift them on so yeah a lot of the time if you are on four courts and you're looking at buying a car it's worth asking where it's from because a lot of the time it isn't even from Guernsey um, so yeah we um, have a mixture of cars over here the little Fiat 500s were really popular my wife's got one a little while ago they were like really is a big craze in Guernsey maybe a few years ago everyone was do, uh, buying new Fiat 500s they were they were flying off the shelves um, I don't know if they're still selling as many now but they were really popular obviously because of the size of the island they're nice and small and uh, they did the job um, you know you, obviously you're not buying fantastic brilliant quality but because of fear but they they did the job and my wife's really happy with hers and they're good they're really good and they're not too expensive to buy so you can see why they're really popular they were really popular uh, the minis the new mini and that that's quite popular in Guernsey as well again I think because of the size because the size of the roads people sometimes tend to go for smaller cars over here um, trying to think other ones the there's a few electric minis as well we've got a few electric vehicles driving around I think most of the Guernsey post office vans they're all electric because they silently run along in the morning you hear them going round um, so yeah there is some electric vehicles on Guernsey as well um, I think maybe at the moment the price of them put people off I think they're still quite expensive aren't they but um, yeah so as you can see now look look at the cars what do you think by the way let me know in the comments um, about the cars over here what you think about it we've got a lot of cars on this island for the size of the island I think I mentioned before I looked up the other day and I think for the size of the island it's one of the most densely populated places in the world for vehicles for the size of the island which some days doesn't surprise me because it can be very very busy right so where are we at now so we're heading down to the west coast
and also just thinking about it even if you know I think even if most people could afford a Ferrari or if I could afford a Ferrari I mean what's the point in Guernsey <laughs> you imagine driving like something like that around these roads the maximum speed limit is 35 miles an hour um, the roads are small you'll be limited probably you won't want to drive really anywhere else apart from the coast roads the minute you go inland or you've got to start mounting pavements and all this sort of thing with your low profile tyres and your wheels or you know the last thing you want to do is scratch your expensive car on a, one of the granite walls in Guernsey it'd be very very impractical to have anything I think in Guernsey like that I mean, the minute you probably accelerated, you'd be caught for speed and straight away. <laughs> so that's maybe, maybe another reason why you don't see them. It's possible. Um, <laughs> like some road like this, that you can imagine. Driving down here, look, sometimes you've got to pull onto pavement to pull in. So it wouldn't be a great place in the world to have one. So we're getting pretty close to the west coast now. We've just got to drive a little bit further. So you can see we didn't go across, we didn't go around the coast at all today. I could have gone down, but I just wanted to go inland for a little bit of a change. we got a filtering turn system coming up. So when you approach these, you've got to drive just cautiously. Make sure no one gets there before you, so that white car goes. And that's a Fiat 500, what I was talking about, which are really popular. My wife's got one of those in front. My wife's is blue, but um, you can see, ideal for learning as well. It's got that L plate on it, which means the person hasn't passed their tests yet, and they've got a co-driver. Nice little cars, ideal for Guernsey. Just gone past, so this is Grand Rock. I think we've just gone past Grand Rock Garage. And at the end, we come ro out right opposite Grand Rock Car Park which is uh, a really nice beach go down there in the summer dogs are allowed on that beach all year round I think if I remember correctly so this is just a really really nice little drive along um, let me know your thoughts on the car situation the Ferraris or if you've got any any funny stories or any information you want to share love reading your comments and uh, remember click the screen to watch another video and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.